Microsoft OneDrive. Well, welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Badan, your trainer for this entire series. So in this session, we're going to talk about how the setting can be done for your OneDrive. So normally, whenever you create any kind of account with this Microsoft, okay, obviously for your Outlook and all. So by default, your storage location as per our previous discussion, we have clearly made you know understood these things that by default your location to store any kind of document files or folder is your storage location allocated by the microsoft is here one right now in order to have a detailed information whenever you store a file okay you uh, transfer you you know you share a file am among your friends you work for the online this collaboration you delete a file you restore a file you create a photo that means you upload a photo and all all of these settings must made clear before you proceed with the process that means you need to understand clearly the one drive setting options so in this session we are going to talk about the options that's been provided by the one drive so at first Whenever you go to the OneDrive setting option, first you will find in the options tab that is a manage storage. So by default, I do be believe that all of you know that Microsoft gives you in a OneDrive default space in order to store all the documents that is only 5 GB, not more than that. So if I come to the manage storage from the setting, okay, it's going to show you that what amount of space has been utilized by you so far out of the total. So if you'd like to make sure that, uh, you know, there are some of the files that are occupying the space or the size of the file, if you'd like to see for that, that means which files are taking your space in your OneDrive. So simply you can click it and now it will open all the files or the folders or video, whatever you have that is occupying the space in your drive. So these all are those files. Okay. Now the next one I have over here is the empty recycle bin. Of course, uh, if, you, if I click this empty recycle bins, it, it's going to you know free up some of the space but for that still i do not suggest because sometimes it happens that by mistake coincidentally you might have pressed the dell or some of the files it might have gone to the recycle bin so without going through the importance of all those deleted files i suggest you not to go for emptying this recycle bin okay now on the next tab that you have over here about the plans and upgrade that means by default uh, every user i uh, I guess the maximum okay maximum users over the cloud for the more one drive they go for the free version so if you'd like to see for the plans and the upgrade of this one drive because you might be saying that the storage that i have it's not not enough for me okay and some of the application that i wanted to use really smoothly it's not functioning properly because it's given only for the free version the trial version it, it might not work for the 100 percent in that case you, you might upgrade yourself so the entire detailed information about the plans and upgrade is already provided to you in a setting of your one drive so these are the options if you go for the microsoft 365 family you'll have to pay around for year 99.99 dollars so these are the features that you're going to get 6 tb total 1 tb per person that means for the six person it can be used now so if i go for the microsoft 365 personal this was for the family if i go for the personal so these are the features of the thing that i'm going to get so if i go for one drive only so this much amount of space and all the features are not provided to you so these are the options that's been provided to you even in the setting of your one drive okay now the next one office file formats you might have noticed that every time you create any kind of document in your uh, microsoft onedrive so by default these are the you know extensions or the options that you are using that means the file type these all are the file type so if you'd like to open a file using other option is also provided to you so this depends upon your need okay now after that if i go for the personal world see this personal world it remains always secure now even if you'd like to have access over this personal world you'll be asked to prove your identity that means your authentication is needed so insert it's going to show the mail address to which this one is registered and they will send you the verification code then only you'll be able to get access over your vault okay so it's uh, about the security and it will also show you the photos actually for the photos the option that you have so whenever we create the photo actually i mean to say that whenever we create the photo we add the photo okay so automatically what it does creates the album for you that means create album automatically when i upload photos so if you want to disable that option the choice is yours this option is also provided to you since you are the owner of this address at this moment so 
this option is over here and you do have option for tagging also and trust me guys microsoft is not going to see any of your files any of your photos without your permission any of the image they will not go for that so you can go for the tagging that helps you to find your photo more efficiently actually okay so that option is also given by the tagging and you do have options for the notification so this one is a good feature so far i find now it says that send me email when people make changes to the file we are sharing that means sometimes you might be working on an online collaboration so if you'd like to get any kind of mail that the certain so and so changes have been made that option is given over here okay then of course it this option is also provided to you in order to remain on this day as a memory so these are the options that you have if i show you the next tab over here that is the notification okay that we did just now and then uh, let's go for the next one device backup so if you are backing off any of the device over the cloud associated with this one right it's going to give you that information so far in my drive i am not going to you know uh, sync or update any of the data on the one drive so that's why it's showing that you don't have any devices that are backing up setting to one drive that i do not have any device that is being backing up over here one drive so that's why it's showing nothing okay and now you do have option for restore your one drive of course is re regarding the restoring process of your one drive files and folder we have already discussed for that okay for this i have already made my previous video so if you have missed out you can go for that that means that any file that you delete it remains over there in your personal if it is a personal account for the 30 days so after 30 days it's going to delete that automatically so if you are using any kind of this business account it's going to keep your file in a longer period okay restore uh, your one drive means that only okay now the last option is the search option okay now for the search so previous searches as suggested search terms you can turn off or clear all and this one also i suggest you to give as it is because we do not touch all of these settings because this default functionalities are more than enough for us okay so this was the simple setting of your one drive options so whenever you work for the one drive i suggest you to first understand all of these options all of this configuration then you can continue work so if it was bit inform informative to you so please do like and subscribe thank you